So I'm gonna start off by giving you the counts. Here we go on our open break on five, six, seven. Give a right turn, two, three, five, six, seven. Start the free spin on one, two, turn on three, five, six, seven. Recover into cross body lead, five, six, seven. It's really important for the leads to make sure you clear the track as she starts to do the turn. So notice on one, I'm clearing the track. On two, I'm completely out of the way, and that way she can spin through on the three. So on one, I clear the track. On two, I'm practically next to her. And then on three, I release the hand and give her the spin, and we recover for the crossbody lead. Another common way in which people lead the free spin is to place the hand on the shoulder to turn the follower. I'm going to give it to you from a different angle so you can see a little better. The hand goes on the shoulder on the two, and then you turn on the three. So now we're going to kick things up a notch, give the followers a right turn, and then the leads are going to go underneath her arm and give themselves a right turn before giving her a free spin. From a different angle, one, two, three, five, six, seven, go under, one, two, and notice how close I am. My shoulders have very little space with her shoulders, and I turn her on the three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Something I see all the time is that the leaders use way too much force. Common complaint that I hear from ladies is that the guys are just too rough. So please be gentle, she's not a frisbee. The up and down motion from my hand is what communicates to the girl to prepare herself for the spin. By doing this, I can do a gentle release to initiate the free spin. Now another thing that I see a lot, which isn't technically wrong, but it just isn't as smooth, is that the leaders, they wait till the one to put their hand onto the closed position and you saw that what that does is it kind of slaps her in the back. So to make this move a little bit more smooth, I'm going to start recovering her on the 6 or the 7 so that my hand gradually cradles her into a closed position. This one is for the followers. Don't forget to lift your arms up at the end of the free spin. Leaders, if this happens to you, just keep dancing and pretend like nothing happened. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content. And I hope to see you on the dance floor.